What is this? We are live. My name is David, and I'm with Min. And I downloaded this uh, Ant Concordancer, and I have developed uh, a corpus, a corpus file. And I'm going to load it now. I assume I click on this, don't I? Mm, yes, but may I uh, take a look at your corpus okay. file? We can take a look at it right here. Go to File View. Mm. Okay. So I, I followed your instructions on Moodle. Okay. And I wonder what I can do with this now. For example, I can create a word list immediately. I get yes. this word list. That might be useful. Maybe I can search for a concordance, like, for example, uh, technology. How is the word used? So I can click, type technology here. Yeah. Technology. Uh, the spelling technology. Yes. Press start. Mm. So I can see how technology use, technology use. And you can sort it. Oh, how do I sort it? Mm, you choose... Uh, sort here. Yes, sort, uh, but you haven't uh, set it according to your needs. What do you want to look at? I don't technology. know. Do you want to look at the words before or after technology? Uh, let's take a look at the words before. Okay, so you set it uh, to the left and change level one to left one. One L. Oh, I'm confused. Okay, one L. Yes, that's one left, one okay. word left to technology. Sort that first, and only that. Um, let's see. Okay, let's sort that first. Of technology. Okay, so of technology. Use, some things of technology around authenticate. Great. So we can explore the words around the word technology in the concordance. Now, I'm a bit curious about um, words, but getting rid of the prepositions, the connectors, and the articles. How do I actually do that? Mm. How do I get a keyword list? Keyword list, uh, you need uh, to compare it with uh, another corpus. Uh, for example, if you want to find out the words related to the topic of your corpus, the content of your corpus. You can compare it with a uh, general corpus, gen a, a corpus uh, for general purpose, and then you will find out uh, which words are particularly frequent in your corpus. That aren't frequent in the other corpus? Not frequent in the other corpus. So you need to uh, uh, have another corpus to compare it with, to okay. get a keyword list. So let's, let's see if I have something here. Um, what, what am I doing? Okay, hello, hello, hello. What's this here? Is there any te of it, texts here? Text files? No text files. Uh, okay, well. well, that'll be for another video. But in that way, I can find, most likely by using that, ex that other corpus, I can get rid of these articles too. Right? Uh, uh, to be you want to out. get rid of uh, the uh, the articles? Yeah. And uh, those empty words, right? Yes. I just want nouns and verbs. <laughs> then really. you can use uh, a stop list, but that's uh, a more complicated use of this software. Okay. How do we get a stop list? Um, we need some time to make it. Maybe next time. Okay, so we actually have to make a list yeah. of words to get rid of yes. in order to get the keywords or the... Uh, or the, the content words. Yeah, yeah. To get the content words, we have to make another list to get rid of the empty words. Yes. And then we can compare things here, too, with our general corpus to get the frequently used word, the special words here. Yes. Okay, what else can we do? We've got um, 40 seconds. What else we can do? Um, you can take a look at, um, let me see. Can we go down, down a little bit down. of the list? Um, we got 20 seconds. <laughs> the time is too short. Um, maybe let's go up and see uh, how the uh, not activities. Let's go up. Oh, how do I go? Uh, go go to word list and go up. Uh, maybe we can take a look at uh, off.